If you want to see my nail combinations this month and you want to see me reveal the last little bit of nail polish out of this Ciate Advent calendar, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. Well, today is not really makeup, but it is makeup related, and that is nail polishes. What I want to do today is review everything, all the looks that I wore in November, and uh, talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing so far in December. And as I suggested in the teaser, we will reveal the last couple of uh, nail polish products. I think they're nail polish products. I did get a uh, lip gloss from Ciate this, I think it, I did already, did I? Oh, yeah, I think I did. I'm sure I did. Anyway, um, I will be revealing the last two products, which I suspect are nail polish products. Don't know why I'm zoning out here. Probably because I ended up ordering, yeah, no, I did reveal it from this box because I did end up ordering a lip gloss from Ciate as a result. You will see that in my latest little goodie. I don't want to call it a haul because it's not a huge amount of products, but it's just it's just a few items that I've picked up. And frankly, over the last couple months, I haven't been getting a whole lot from anywhere uh, except for the Metropolis palette, which I've already talked about here on this channel. If you want to see swatches for that one, I do have it right there. Uh, it is going away. So if you've been interested in that color story, just be aware that it's going away. Okay, so let's talk about the looks for the month of November and spilling into December a little bit. I'll explain why. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get going. The first combo, which I really ended up liking quite a bit, was this Sephora. And Sephora likes to put black writing on deep colors for some reason. After work drink is what this one is. And I paired it with Moon Dust, which is one of my favorites from Ciate, and it has kind of a purpley blue tone. And I felt like these two were quite a nice pairing and enjoyed wearing it quite a bit. And this one is a combo that I really liked. Uh, and this one is, it's on a burgundy background. So I have to take the sticker off to be able to read it because it's it's illegible. Private Boudoir. So Private Boudoir with uh, Gilded Goddess is a beautiful combination. Absolutely beautiful. It's very classy but still wearable for the day because it's kind of a deeper color. It's not super red like, you know, red. Um, I really enjoyed that uh, pairing and it's a pairing I've done before so I probably should stick my neck out and only do combos I've never done before. Uh, but this was a nice, nice one. And I'm probably going to pair this Gilded Goddess with Dangerous Affair around Christmas time because it's a little bit more red than this one, uh, but still a deep red, which I think is a, is a nice combination. And if you are curious to see how I created this look, that video will be up tomorrow. I will link it here as soon as it's available. Uh, it is a full face of Lancôme. Anyway, let's get back to the video. And I think I was supposed to use Dangerous Affair. I may have used it on its own now that I think of it, but I don't have a picture of it. Uh, this is another combo that I did uh, that I really enjoyed. This was one of the newer colors that I revealed and I paired it with Firework from Sephora. It's, this is one of my favorite toppers. It's, it was a very nice combo and the glitter in this one, which is called Midnight in Paris, is very subtle. So to pair it with another glitter was not overkill and as a matter of fact, I think that this would be super nice just as a single nail polish for all 10 fingers because it's just, it's like a navy blue, a deep navy blue, but better. It's almost like a, a night sky. It's a very pretty color. Now this next combo is the reason I don't have a ton of combos. I know, I know. It is this pairing. So it's black lace and this one that's kind of a pewter color and that one is called 
I had to take the label off again, Glitter Moon and Black Lace. And that was a very nice combo, so much so that I ended up doing it twice. So I wore it for a week, it lasted a week, and I did it again. So I ended up, well, almost a week, and it ended up being on my nails for a good 10 days. So uh, it, because I was enjoying it so much and it was basically maintenance free, um, I ended up wearing it for a whole lot longer than I expected. But And I wouldn't have thought that a black and a deep pewter would be something that I would want to wear twice in a row, but it just it just worked. And I'll gl give you a glimpse of what I'm wearing uh, today, although I will talk about it again in uh, next video, and I won't have a picture. I'll put that in the next video because it is technically in December. But I'm really enjoying the pairing, and I want to talk about it now. So this is Prima Ballerina. So a nice kind of taupey beige. And this one is Desert Lights. And I do believe that was one of the, the ones that I picked out from last month. Really, really nice combo and thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So those are all the looks. So you will see this one pop up next month because it is officially a December combo. And now we're getting into this guy for the last two reveals. So that would be 23 and 24. And where are they? There's 23 over here and then 24 here. And since there are only two to open, I'll open them right here with you. Let's see, 23 and 23. Oh boy, that's a very gold, goldy green, we'll see. It says, look for the magic in every day. Great, they are really hard to remove, so I won't do it right in front of you. Uh, and then 24 is here and it looks like a, it must be a full size. Let's see. And there's a saying on this one as well, and it says, start each day like it's your birthday. Start each day like it's your birthday. I wonder what that would feel like. Maybe I'll give it a try. And this one is very blingy. And I can tell you for sure I will be wearing it during the holidays. So let me free up those two and we can take a proper look at them. Okay, I am done with the box, but I have to say, in the odd chance that Siate London is watching this video, you have to fix the packaging. I am a very able-bodied person, very healthy person, and I can barely take these products out of the box. I can only imagine someone with arthritis or someone who has um, a, a nervous system issue that prevents them to have strong grip. There's no way, there's just no way to get the products out without mangling the box. Um, I mean, I don't do it on camera for a reason. I would be grimacing in front of you trying to get these stupid products, great products, out of stupid packaging. Um, it's ill-advised packaging. I should not stoop to say stupid. Ill-advised packaging. All right, so here's the first of the two. Rant over. Oh my goodness, look, look at, it's a kind of a turquoisey greenish gold. Has come some some alien vibes to it. What's it called? Oil slick. Oh my gosh, I've had this one before, but it looks different. It looks way different from my other oil slick. I'll have to compare. It doesn't look the same at all. Interesting. That's so weird. Okay, well. I'm obviously not upset about it because I liked the oil slick. I think I finished it. That might be why I'm all surprised by this color. I think oil slick was at least two years ago. And then this one is a no brainer for Christmas. And that would be a great topper for any color. And it's called Silver Lining. I like the name, Silver Lining. I've had to look for a lot of silver linings this year. So this is super, that is a super option as a full size. I'm really happy about it. And Siate tends to make the large ones toppers. And I really appreciate that. It's I think 15 mil, 14, 14 mil. So it's a very full size 
uh, nail polish and you can bet that I will be using it uh, this month. It's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Silver lining. Love it. And I do wonder, I think that would be overkill, but maybe, maybe they're a good pairing. I'm not sure. At a minimum, uh, something gold fleck on the ring finger with this one might be nice. I have some stuff to try out and I'm not sad about it. So uh, what do I think of this Mini Manny month for uh, the year that I used to open it up? This would have been uh, Mini Manny month uh, 2020, I guess. It does not say anywhere on the box uh, when it was released, but uh, I would say, and looking at the back of the box, it shows me all of the, the colors from the whole year. And there's not, there was really no dud in here. And the fact that they included a top and base coat, I think was a, was a nice touch. All of the colors, and there were a few repeats from years ago, that's okay. Uh, meaning from two years ago, that's okay because a lot of them, these are minis, you get through them, and if you ended up really liking a color, you don't, you're not sad about getting another one. Um, I do endorse it. I think it is a good uh, calendar, and the minis in these include a total of five mil, and what I noticed by um, looking at some other advent calendar nail polishes, they're three mil. 3 mil is so little product, it'll dry out real quick, it seems like a bit of a waste. 5 mil is, I think, a better amount, and they still dry out on me, but it's a better amount for the nail polish to last longer, and so I would not want them to do anything a lot less than, than 5 mil, for sure. And I think that that's what Sephora is. As I take the label off and ruin my uh, nail polish look for today, does it say how much? I don't see it on the sticker, um, but I think I think that Sephora nail polishes are about five mil. They're, they're they're tiny as well, right? I mean, I don't think there's much difference between the two. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Uh, let me know what you think of the looks for this past month, and of course. If you have suggestions or requests for uh, some color combos, you, you don't even need to know what's in my collection. If you want to do see color combos uh, that you can dream up, let me know. And if I have them, I can play with them for sure. But that said, these three are definitely going to be my priority for the next month. Uh, Dangerous Fair, just because it's a perfect red for the holidays, in my opinion. Uh, oil slick and this one because they are the latest reveals. Those are the three where I'm going to be the most um, focused and of course you will also see this uh, look pop up again at the beginning of the video for December looks because I actually applied this in December and not uh, in November. That's it from me. You've heard me ramble on enough in this video. Let me know what you think of the looks. Uh, let me know if you have some favorite combos from Siate Polishes. I would love to hear. Or just combo, general combo colors, it, I, I would love to hear as well. Just to give me some ideas to noodle over and uh, create some more fun looks for uh, you on camera. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.